Sveiki, šiandien su jumis busiu aš, Tomas, ir turim svečią. Čalza. Labas, tebesiu lygą. Tai Čalza atsitiko pas mūsų iš Jungtinio Amerikos valstyjų. Žmogus, kuris šiek tiek papasakos jums plačiau šiandien. Apie, apie garinimą, apie tarptautinę garinimo mhm. kultūrą. Tai Čalzas pradėjo savo karjerą, galima sakyti, nuo, 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 nuo distribucijos gariniame. Kol galiausiai pradėjo dirbti ar tu su kafereiseriais, kaip žino, tikriausiai, ko gero, geriausiai, tabakiniai skyščiai. Dirbo jisai pardavimų vadovų tarptautinių, tai susitiko su, su daugybė pasaulio garintojų, daugybė šalių aplankė. Ir šiuo metu jam pasitaikė tokia galimybė išeit šiek tiek į kitą kompaniją, Chubby Gorillas. Gorilla, Gorilla. Ja, Chubby Gorilla, kurie gamina buteliukus ir buteliukų kokybė taip pat svarbu, apie tai gal pats Čiausas papasako šiek tiek plačiau, o šiandien mes pakalbėsim su jumis tada tarptautinių lygių apie garinimą, kultūrą, apie galbūt garinimą ateitį. Tai žiūrim. Don't worry, I'm gonna keep nodding my head pretending like I understand what he's saying. <laughs> Taigi, svarbiausias dalykas tikriausiai, ką privalo žmonės daryt garindami, tai saugumas. Pakalbėkim čiarzai tada apie baterijų saugumą. Yeah. So, what I really want to dive into is how to be a smarter vapor, a safer vapor, that, that situation. Um, And one of the biggest issues that we see is batteries. So I've got a couple dinged up batteries here. Um, you can see the wraps on these. Well, maybe you can, I don't know how tight the camera is, but you know, on this one here, you've got some metal exposed. Um, you know, on, on a couple of these here, you start the fraying happens, more metal is exposed on the top. Um, you know, all of them, these right here, unsafe. Basically, this is how, when you've got a damaged wrap, the, the battery can start venting. And anytime that you see something on TV, it's never the battery exploded, it's an electronic cigarette exploded. And we all know that the, the vape, the mod, whatever, it wasn't that that exploded, it was the yeah, battery. This was a battery. And, and 99 times out of 100, even more than that, it's user error. Yeah. This is not a safe battery to use. This is not recommended by the manufacturer. And this is just a, like a negligent, unsafe battery. And we need to be smarter about that. So, because we are representing a much bigger community here. Um, and quite frankly, we don't need anybody getting hurt. Well, and, and as we were talking about, you know, you see the fraying on this, you've got exposed metal. Um, you know, the shops over here at Academus, they actually have the rewrap yeah. that you can do. So, and it's a really easy process. The guys can do it. Um, and batteries also have a shelf life. You know, they don't last forever. I mean, yeah. think about your phone or your computer and how long it takes to recharge at a certain point or how quickly it drains. So um, our good friends at Asmodus actually hooked uh, Academus up with a couple of these battery testers when we were in Stuttgart. Um, and these are great. It lets you check your cell life and see how much longer you're gonna have on them, you know? Yeah. We should carry battery cases, yes? Yeah, absolutely. So. You know, Chubby Gorilla makes some great battery cases. You've got the nice little two battery one here. Comes in yellow and black. Black and yellow, black and yellow. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we've got a four battery one. You know, these are great for traveling when you're going out at night. Um, you know, honestly, if you change, you have a two battery mod and you change it before you go out, you shouldn't need to change your batteries again. But at the same time, you know, one of these four battery cases is great to throw two in and then throw a 10, 10 ml in there. And, you know, and then you can take it with you. It's safe. It's not going to explode. It's not going to be exposed to any other metals. Basically, whenever metal touches this, just like when it's in your mod, you notice there are metal pieces in there. It conducts the electricity. Well, other metal things like keys and coins, yeah. you know, or whatever God knows women have in their purses you know, <laughs> helps That's... make these things uh, start conducting and then eventually vent and explode. And that's what we want to avoid. Uh, užakinkit ir savo modus, ypač, vat, kaip ir minėjau, pas moteris rankinu, kad ten vėl nežino, kas darosi ir mano gyvas pavyzdys buvo, kada žmona tiesiog įmetė į tą šią modą, neužakintą, nežinė su kuo tarp ko ir kokiu būdu jis susispaudė ir, tarkim, dina plokštę neturi apsaugos po tam tikro laiko, kad nustotų garint ir viskas kaitų iki tol, kol sudėgė vata, pradėjo smirdėti, ten čiut nedūmai rūkti iš tos tašės ir tada labai žmona įsiganda 
Ir nu iš tikrųjų ten nebuvo nieko blogo, baterija nesprogo, nieko, kai tiklis tik labai, labai prasmirdo, gal paskui visą šitą išplaut labai sunku buvo. Bet buvo, buvo galima džiaugtis, kad tai baigėsi, nes galėjo baigtis kur kas ir praščiau. Tai va. Taigi svarbu ne tik kuo garinam, bet ir ką garinam. Skystis, kur mūsų skystis, koks tai skystis, iš kur jis. Papasako, čia zaimim, plačiau gal apie, apie tai vis tiek tūstai skyšiais gan plačiai susidūręs. Aš šiek tiek apie tai, kokia jų kokybė yra, kokia jų kokybė svarba yra va, labūt ant garinime. Ok. Ui. I think everybody here kind of knows my standard of quality. Uh, Cafe Racer has some of the best liquids on the market. Yeah. Their tobaccos are, they are the best gourmet tobaccos that are out there. They've got a fun new line called Sidecar that came out. Yes. So you guys know I have a standard for liquid. But when I got the opportunity to start working with the bottle side of the industry, it, it's a far, much more vast, everybody needs a bottle. You know, you can't hold your liquid like this. Yeah. It doesn't really work very well. <laughs> um, so I, I started getting into bottles and learning more about plastics. And I, I guess I would have never figured I'd start learning about plastics. That's kind of <laughs> a random thing in life. But um, there's a lot of different standards that come with the plastics. And you have the option of, you know, we all want to recycle and save the environment. That's great. However, when I'm thinking about the recycled plastic that some of these Chinese companies use, these are going by my mouth. Yeah. You know, I don't really want that. That's kind of gross. Um, so, you know, part of the reason when I found Chubby Gorilla, you know, people drop coins and do kind of crazy stuff. It's all good. <laughs> okay, okay. Keep, keep rolling. No, I know. I'm sorry. I like to have fun. You know, things happen. It's life. Actually, I got a background as an assistant director, and it's fun yelling at people when they drop stuff in the background. Uh, um, but, you know, uh, Chubby Gorilla uses virgin plastic. Um, you know, it's never been used for anything else. And there's, there's a few different kinds. But... Not only do you want to think about the quality of the bottle that you're using, you want to think of quality of the ingredients that you're using. Yes, of course. So, you know, and, and we want to use brands and work with brands and vape brands that use high quality PG, VG aromas. You know, I, I, I don't want some secondhand knockoff going into my system. So, vape, you know, vaping was created to actually help people save lives and quit smoking. And why would you use subpar ingredients for that? Um, and the and the other side of that is, you know, there's a huge section of people who like to make, you know, DIY is fine if it's for yourself, but there's a lot of people who think, oh, I can mix this in my bathtub and then yeah, my, yeah, my buddies will pay me for it. Yeah, it's, it's nothing. And it's, you know, it's really not, you know, this is stuff that goes out to public. This is a consumer product and there has to be standards yeah. to the products we're bringing to the market. You know, I, I wouldn't, there, there are certain things you just don't use that are low end and things that go into your body. You know, those are, that, that's one of those categories I'd make sure that I was using the highest standard of ingredient. Mm, taigi, Čiausai, susitikęs esi su begalę garinančių žmonių, a, matęs ne vieną šalį, kurioje vyksta garinimas. Mm, pakalbėkim apie tai, kaip mums nedirėtų elgtis viešumo ir, ir kaip dirėtų apie, apie garinimo kultūrą. Right. So, I, I've been doing trade shows for the past two years. I've traveled all around the US. Um, I've been traveling Europe for the past nine or so months. Probably been to a dozen or so countries. And vaping is really, you know, we all know it is a pretty big industry, um, but it's, it's starting to really take some new strides. And the one thing I noticed as I'm doing shows, one of the first places I did a show was in France. And I was amazed at how many people were vaping. But what was the real, I mean, on the subway, or not the subway, but the train at the station, people are out there doing it. Um, it, it. It's very culturally accepted there. And the new regulations and standards and things that are going to slowly start taking place over the next few months to a few years. You know, it, it's really starting to, as a mass, allow the public to understand that this is safer. Um, you know, we're not doctors, I'm not making medical claims, and I don't need to because the Royal College of Physicians has made an amazing claim. They've done independent research saying that vaping, vaping is 95% safer than cigarettes, so why would I need to tell you that when they have? 
now and you know as far as that culture though it is as widely as accepted as vaping, vaping has become we are all ambassadors for the industry okay when we're on public the way we act and behave is the reflection that the person who's never actually seen vaping or is considered getting involved with vaping and, and wanting to quit smoking, we're the first impression of what they're yeah. gonna see. So, you know, we, we wanna be a little conscious of that. Um, you know, life is really about public relations and how the PR battle is. I mean, you look at politics or sports or all, you know, celebrities and all that stuff. It's It's really how, it's perceived, not what it really is. It's, it's what people think of, not the reality of it. It's it, what's with thought reality, not actual reality. So when I was, I remember that first show in, in, in Paris and I noticed how low everybody was vaping in public. You know, everybody was at like 19. Actually, that's their, that was their standard, 19 watts. And I was, they saw me and I only vape at 43. I'm not a major cloud chaser. I don't like the heat, I like taste. And seeing that, you know, you become conscious of it. So we've all been in public, vaping, and the cloud, let's be honest, right? It's pretty big. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's a lot different than cigarette smoke as well. Cigarette smoke, you know, it stinks, but it's not this big looming nimbulous cloud coming down at you. And people who don't know better run from that. It's ominous, it's scary. So we want to be conscious of that. So turn your mod down. Be aware of your surroundings. For, I mean, if there are children around, just be smart. Don't blow clouds and baby strollers. I mean, you know, yeah. like, know, know where you're at. Know who you're around. And be aware of your surroundings. Actually, that's good advice for real life is to be aware of your surroundings. Um, but just be conscious of those little things. Because again, we're the first impression of what people are seeing. And what if you blowing a huge cloud in public is literally the difference between somebody deciding to put down that pack of cigarettes and pick up a vape versus to keep smoking? Charles Ivakar, toki pokšta mesteli gara apia apia kudike. Kaliatum žmonijam jūr dar pakartot? Yeah, I, I, I like the joke when we're talking about vaping etiquette and I like to call it how not to be a douchebag in public. Yeah, yeah. Taigi, pakalbėjom apie standartų saugumą, pakalbėkim dabar apie sveikatą, manau. Kiek žinau, Čiauzai tau pačiam teko susidurti su tuo iš asmeninio gyvenimo, tavo tėvas rūkė daug metų ir patyrė širdies smūgį, tau teko per visą miestą vežti į ko greičiau ligoninę, tai pakeitė, kaip suprantu, tavo požiūrį į rūkimą ir visą kitą, tai teisus aš šitėjote. You know, it's after that experience and having to take my father to the hospital, You know, I, I look at our situation and, and, and that's one of the reasons why I fell in love with vaping. It's, it's the idea of being able to help people quit using the most addictive and deadliest consumer product that is ever made, which is cigarettes. There's without a doubt not one consumer product that has killed as many people as cigarettes have. And you think about the etiquette and how we're that reflection of the industry. And sometimes when you blow that cloud, I mean, literally, like, if, if what if that, and it, and, and, and it is crazy that sometimes it's that one little thing, but what if you blowing a big cloud in public is literally the reason why somebody goes, man, that guy looks like an ass. I don't want to look like him. I don't want to vape, you know? Yeah. Like, what if you were, what if that cloud is the reason somebody doesn't quit cigarettes? And what the realistic situation you guys have here in Lithuania is you're creeping dangerously close to being categorized as cigarettes. You guys just had that law passed, right? About yeah. where you can vaping restrictions. So now in Lithuania, we can't vape where we can't smoke. Well, guess what? That means in a lot of situations and in some countries in the US, it sucks. We have to we have to go vape in the smoking section and i vape so i don't have to smell cigarette smoke and then they lump us in there and you guys are you know mistakes like that changes the industry and i always say use the us as an example of what not to do when it comes to the 
culture of vaping because the US has always had this wild west mentality of do whatever it wants and that's transitioned across the, uh, you know the, the world but that's where standardization comes in that's where having a, a, we all have to up our game to be better representatives and use better products and and make this more social you know culturally accepted Taigi, dėka tokių, uh, sakykime, tiek įsišokimų, tiek aplamai. Uh, žmonėmi man suprast, kas garinimas yra per dalykas. Atsiranda tam tikri standartai ir, ir žmonės jų bijo, bet uh, jie nebūtinai blogai, ką tu apie tai galėtų negličiausiai papasakyti. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Like, every industry has standards. We're, we're talking about something. This isn't you and your buddies kicking it in the, the backyard at a, you know, barbecue. You can do what you want. Like, we're talking about a consumable product goes out to the masses and there has to be standards cars have standards there's seatbelt standards there's airbag standards restaurants have standards we've all gone into that restaurant where you're like do i really want to eat the food here you know you know so why would vaping be any different um anybody who doesn't want standards in this industry is doing something wrong i mean that's that's the point like that's the bottom line so you know it, it creates when, when you have organizations like the Royal College of Phys Physicians um, from the UK come out and say, and just so you guys know, this is the group that told the world that smoking was bad. This was 10 years before the US decided to even recognize that. This is the same group that's now saying that vaping is 95% safer. It's not me, it's not him, it's not any of the guys that you know in the vape community here. This is a in an independent, well-respected medical community that is self-funded. So there's no ulterior motive too. Anytime you see science, you have to look at who's funding the research. Because even Einstein said that the um, will of the scientists will influence the outcome of the experiment. Hmm. Um, and, that, and that's the truth is if you're looking for an answer, you can find proof for that answer. And that's not what they were looking for. They were just looking to find what it was. So, um, and we have like a, a special little request that we're going to be asking um, of the community here, correct? Uh, taip. Uh, taigi, tikriausiai dauguma mūsų žiūrinčių jau yra garinantis žmonės. Uh, paliudikit. Paliudikit apie tai, kad jūs metėt rūkyt, ar, ar, ar galbūt kaip jums sekasi mes rūkyt, ar elektroninės cigaretės būtent garinimas jums padėjo atsikratyti šito, šito blogo žalingo įpročio. Mhm. A, galbūt jūs savo ar draugui išgelbėjot gyvybę, tai su, būtent su elektroninėm šitom cigaretėm. Tai papasakokit apie tai komentaruose, atsiūskit mums savo a, video, kaip galbūt Tai pakeitė jūsų gyvenimą. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's basically what we want. Tell us your story. I've done several different kinds of sales over the years, and a salesperson can tell you what they want all day long. But you know when you're talking to somebody that they believe in it because it's their story. And that's what we want. We want your story. We want you to tell us how long you were smoking, why, you know, when you got involved, what made you pick up your first vape, how that experience has gone for you. And guess what? Some people have a different experience, just like weight loss, like some of us, you know, we, we work with it. It happens in your own time yeah. window, right? It's not my place to tell another person that they need to, eat vegetarian and do this right now. People come to health on their own standards and vaping ultimately is about health. So if you're a dual user for a little while, great, more power to you. You go back and forth, no big deal. You know, there's there's a lot of snobbery, especially in the US about people who use, who still smoke and vape at the same time, but Bet jie rūko mažiau. Taigi, taigi yeah. vis tiek tai yra gerai. So, and, and, and scientifically, I, again, I'm not a doctor, I'm not going to go into the specifics, but the way cigarettes are designed are to be addictive. And the way vaping is designed is to not be addictive. So there's going to be a transition phase. It's just, that's the reality of biology and physiology with people. So. Vieniam pavyko kitiem gal ne, bet manau, kad pavyks galiausiai tam, tam tai iš tikrųjų ir, ir skirta. Uh, taigi, 
čia alzai, ką dar galėtų mums vis tiek sukaupęs, jis nemaža patirti, pardavimą jis dirba ilgai, pardaviniai, kiek žinau, viską nuo sausainių iki alaus. Jis dirbęs taipogi su vaizdo kūrimo būtent kompanijom. Pats kūrės tiksliau vaizdo klipus, reklamas, dirbai kartu su tokiais žmonėms kaip Keiti Peris, Snoop Dogas, Kanye Westas, kūri reklamas tokiem garsiem automobilių gamintojom kaip Mercedes, Toyota, Lexus. Patirties turi iš tikrųjų daug, pasaulio matęs daug, sakykim, galėtum dar apibrendrinant kažkam tokią papasakot, sakykim, ko čia mes Lietuvoje nežinom iš savo tarptautinės patirties apie tai, apie garinimą, kaip kas ir kur vyksta. Jā. You know, I've traveled to several different countries and you notice different things as you're moving around about how people are culturally, obviously, you know, Europe is, your countries are like our states where you're talking about distance and proximity and cultural trends and sometimes even language when it comes to U.S. accents, but, um, You know, what I really noticed about the Lithuanian, uh, I can't even, I love this country and I can't even say the word Lithuania now. So, uh, what I love about the Lithuanian culture is as small as this country is population wise comparatively to some of the other ones in Europe, it feels like the heart of this, the industry here is much bigger. Um, there's there's a lot of love in the community. There's a lot of people who who are really striving to do better things, bigger things. You know, expose more people to vaping in the right way. You know, the the not douchebag way um, that we talked about. So you like it when I say that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, but you know, the one thing I guess it just boils down to, guys, is it, it's about the bigger picture thing. Vaping's fun. Clouds can be cool. We all love the fun Instagram and, and Facebook pics that, you know, a lot of the, the gals in the industry like to do. And yes, Lithuania, you have some of the most amazing women in the world. However, when it comes to the bigger picture of things, we need to be smarter with our actions. I mean, that's just a general thing in life. Be, be aware of what you're doing, like I said. Aware of your surroundings. See, you notice how he didn't blow that cloud in my face. That's another thing. Like yeah, just Mandagos. yeah, blow up, blow to the side. You can do little things. It's not that hard. Turn your wattage down, you know, and just be aware of what other people are thinking when it comes to this big menacing cloud. Taigi, aptariam daug grimtų temų, įdomių temų. Tikiuosi, jums šitas vlogas mūsų patiko, tikiuosi, patiko mūsų svečias. Susitiksim su jumi sekantį kartą, sėkit mūsų visur, prenumeruokit, paspauskit šį video, jeigu jums patiko, prenumeruokit mūsų YouTube kanalą, prisijunkit prie mūsų Facebook'e, tam kartu į tiek, gero jums garo. Iki. Did I say that right? Yeah, that's okay. No, how do you know? Ikea. Ikea. Okay, Ikea. Bye. No, I want to say it the right way. Ikea? Ikea. 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 Ikea.